so we saw that the ampere's law was modified by maxwell and it began to be called ampere's maxwell law right so ampere maxwell law this we already know that that b dot dl is equal to mu naught i but he called this as the conduction current and the other current that came into being that was the displacement current and we saw that displacement current was given by by epsilon naught d phi e upon dt okay and why did it all arise in the first place why did it come into being for the simple reason that he had set out to calculate calculate the magnetic field say at this point he set out to say find out the magnetic field at point a when this capacitor was charging because after after it has been fully charged we know that the current goes down to zero okay so so after that obviously the the field will be field will be zero but now what happened <coughs> so so in the in the space where there was wire there is a conduction current and in the space so in the space with a conductor to carry the current in the space with a conductor to carry the current we have the conduction current we have the conduction current ic i c which is this which was the ampere's law fine and that was obtained by by maybe assuming that there is a diaphragm over this circular loop and it is being pierced by the current we had also seen that this could also be the current okay you draw a surface not necessarily symmetrical but you draw a surface and whatever current pierces that that will also be the that will also be the 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 that can also be uh, constituted as current that can also be considered as current and and here since there was no current he said that there is there is a current and that current is the displacement current so in the space without the conductor without the the conductor what happens there is an electric field whose change constitutes there is an electric instead of electric field i should say it is electric flux whose change constitutes the displacement current the displacement current i d 
why displacement it has nothing to do with the with the displacement in kinematics it is because historically we used to call the electric field also as displacement even today when you read the the electrostatics the this term comes in okay and it has got some usage even even today so so that is your id and this id is equal to that ic okay here our id is equal to ic so what happens if we are if we are taking the conducting current then that makes the b b here that that makes the b here some value if we are taking the displacement current it is that which makes this the same now now that contradiction of 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 taking of, of there being being a field here when when we were taking this current and there being no field here when we were taking this current this current that goes off you understand so 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 when we are considering this the current that pierces this diaphragm then we have b dot dl is equal to mu not ic get that when current is taken as that which pierces the loop and b dot dl is equal to mu not id okay when current is taken as that which pierces the surface with loop as the rim hmm if it is the continuation of the same same thing no 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 you cannot make it twice why because if you write twice ic then again there is no ic here if you write twice id then there is no ic then there is no ic they are there but at different places so what happens when you take one when you take this then it is actually kind of this mu not ic plus wherever there is a conduction current there is no displacement and when there is a displacement there is no conduction so it is this is this is actually like this that's why you cannot make it twice because because together together they are you know because you could operate things like this no in the same in the same problem you 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 take this or you may be taking this so if i write it two ic then then you'll kind of make it double it will be in error the b will be in error okay so so when we are taking this this part here here say here here i have ic and id is equal to 0 here 
I C is equal to zero, but there is I D. It goes like that. Okay. 